Hi everyone, it's great to see you. I am so excited because I'm going to be talking about hydrangea today, and that is one of my favorite plants. So even though it is cold and it is raining outside, we're going to look at some of these beautiful flowers. I have been surfing the web and finding what I can find on new hydrangeas for 2023. I'm going to share with you what I have come up with. These are some of the hydrangeas that are new that I will be looking for in the spring, and I just can't wait. The first two hydrangea that I'm going to talk about are Seaside Serenade Hydrangea, and I've had really good luck with the Seaside Serenade line of hydrangea. I love Seaside Serenade Newport. So this first one on your screen here is called Seaside Serenade Glacier Bay, and it is a lace cap. It is a bright white lace cap, but the cool thing about this hydrangea is that you can actually look at this picture and see it has black stems, and the leaves are real deep deep, dark, green, leathery foliage. So to see that real bright white lace cap pop against that dark foliage and the black stems, I just think that is going to be spectacular in the garden. This hydrangea gets to be about three feet tall and wide, so it's pretty small, and it's very cold hardy, zones four to nine. And just like the Glacier Bay Hydrangea, the other new Seaside Serenade Hydrangea is a lace cap, Crystal Cove. And this is a great one for somebody who's looking for something a little bit more unusual. It is very frilly. And I have to say, I am just fascinated by that. I am definitely keeping my eyes open for this one. It is frilly. It's supposed to have a lot of blossoms on it. And it is a lace cap, but it has these like intricately cut edges of the blossoms. They are purple to pink, um, into the blue maybe, depending on your soil pH. It is also fairly small, three to four feet wide and tall, and also hardy for zones four to nine. So those two, I'm so thrilled. I am going to be looking for the Seaside, Serenade, Glacier Bay, and Crystal Cove this year. This next hydrangea is Hydrangea Pink Dynamo. And this hydrangea is a serrata hydrangea. That means it is a mountain hydrangea and the serratas are known to be a little bit more hardy, a little stronger. They have to live up on the mountains. So this type of hydrangea, Pink Dynamo, has real bright hot pink flowers. And it seems to have black foliage. So that is what the description says. And looking at this picture, that's either a really, really dark green or black. And that bright pink just shows up so well against that foliage. It looks really unique too. Now this is a really small hydrangea. It's only going to be two to three feet tall and wide, and it's hardy down to zone five. So it also seems like it would do well here where it gets pretty cold. So I'm gonna be looking out for this particular hydrangea. You know I love pink. It is a reblooming hydrangea. It is small, so it'll be good for those small spaces. I'm thinking in my pots, my bag in a pot and a pot method, this might be a good one to try out there. I'm really excited to see this. I've had really good luck with serratas. Um, I only have one or two, but they really do bloom well for me. They seem well suited to the colder climates and they are very strong. This hydrangea is getting a lot of publicity online because this is the new Endless Summer hydrangea. It is Endless Summer Pop Star. So we know Endless Summer, the original, which gives us lots of blue blossoms. Endless Summer Summer Crush has done great for me with pink blossoms. And this newest kind, Pop Star, is a lace cap cultivar. And they are saying that this hydrangea re-blooms. Even if you accidentally prune off the buds within like four weeks, it has set new buds and is blooming. That's pretty impressive. Supposedly it has dark green leaves, not black like the others, but it is more on the dark side. And it will vary in color, blue to pink, depending on your soil pH, and it's hardy down to zone four. So they're saying tons of flowers, re-blooms even if you prune it, and it looks like it is going to be an exciting new introduction. So apparently this was available to some people in 2022 if you were an endless summer 
um, licensee. And for the rest of everybody else, it is going to have industry-wide distribution beginning this month, January 2023. So keep your eyes open for the newest Endless Summer pop star. This is Starfield. Now, Starfield is not as new as the last few hydrangea I've shown you. This one was actually introduced in 2021, but I didn't end up seeing it until the end of last year. So sometimes it takes a little longer for these newer hydrangeas to be distributed. So Starfield might still be new in your area. I have not seen it bloom in person because I got it at the very end of last year, but supposedly its blossoms look like little stars, which you can see here in the picture, and it does vary in color from pink to blue depending on your soil, but I'm really, really excited about having this in my garden, and we'll see how it looks. It says it blooms so much, it looks like a galaxy of blooms here, a star field. Starfield is produced by Bloomin' Easy, and there is another new hydrangea out by Bloomin' Easy, Gin and Tonic Reblooming Hydrangea. So the interesting thing with this one is it blooms kind of a lime green, and as the flowers age, they turn um, more white. It's supposed to be a real bright white. So here's another one that contrasts nicely with the dark green leaves. I think it looks like it has a lot of potential zones five to nine for hardiness and once again this is another small one about two to three feet tall and wide. The last hydrangea I'm going to talk to you about today is Let's Dance Sky View. I have some other hydrangea in the Let's Dance series and they do fabulously. This particular hydrangea is a cross between a macrophylla and a serrata. So it has those big balls of blossoms, but the serrata, the mountain hydrangea part of it, makes it extra strong. I actually have a hydrangea after midnight that is a cross between a macrophylla and a serrata, and it does really, really well. It has strong canes that are real upright. It holds those mop head flowers up high and strong. It doesn't droop, and this one is supposed to be like that. Sky View is also supposed to be great if you like to cut your hydrangeas for arrangements because of those really strong stems. The flowers can be on a range of pink to blue depending on your soil and these do great even down to let's say zone five. So this will be one that I will be keeping my eyes open for. It gets to be two to three feet tall and wide also. So thank you so much for joining me today as we think about spring and dream about when our hydrangeas will be blooming again. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.